Hey everybody, welcome back to yet another video. Uh, today we are going to be adding a trailer brake controller to my uh, 95 uh, Ford F-150. The trailer brake controller I chose was a, uh, a Kurt brand. I chose it for two reasons. It was cheap and it not only has the trailer brake controller, but I was also able to get a quick plug for it. So basically I should be able to just plug and play everything. Um, so without further ado, let's dive right in. So here's everything the uh, the kit comes with. So on the trailer brake controls, controller side, it comes with some mounting screws, the trailer brake controller, the uh, mount itself, a uh, quick reference guide, and then the instructions. Right now I've got the instruction sheet opened up to uh, the mounting the trailer brake controller page. That way I knew exactly which way they wanted to uh, have it mounted. So it looks like it can go horizontal, an angle, or vertical. They just don't want you to go like sideways, anything goofy like that. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up putting the trailer brick controller down, most likely right down around here somewhere. And uh, that, that should work perfectly for what I need to do. It'll be out of the way, but yet easy to, uh, easy to get to. Now as for the uh, harness, basically it comes with the harness itself and an uh, installation guide for the uh, 95 F-150. So there are uh, four actual pins on this connector, so you want to make sure those four pins match up with the uh, pins underneath the uh, dash when you hook that up. The other side just is a normal four pin connector, just like that. Nice thing is, too, they actually came with a couple zip ties so you can clean everything up. Alright, I apologize for any abrupt change in quality or anything like that. Uh, my phone got a little warm, so I switched to a, a different uh, different camera source. So right now I've got uh, everything mounted up, just like that. There's where the uh, the pigtail is for the wiring, all of that. And where the plug is, is actually right under the dash. It is... Let's see if we can see it here. This plug, right here. That is where the uh, the plug is going to end up going to. So uh, let's go ahead and get our harness hooked up there, and we'll hook it up to the trailer for a controller. And there we are, we are installed. Again, just that plug, I cleaned up the wiring so you don't even really see it. And basically, right now I don't have a trailer connected or anything like that, but if I hit the green the brakes, we do see a green light, which means there is no trailer connected and everything is good. Same thing happens if we do press the, uh, the manual override. So that is uh, the easiest way I would recommend just getting that easy harness makes life so much better. But uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, uh, please leave them below. And that is a quick tutorial on how to do a trailer brick controller in your 90s OBS Ford F-150. Should work for, I believe, a two, F-250, F-350 Bronco, everything of that's kind of same era as well.